Hi everybody, this is Nathan at Rain Networks. Hope you're doing well today. Today we're gonna go through uh, a little bit about how to work with agents in the ESET Remote Administrator version 6.5. Um, I did an agents video a while back in the um, 6.4 version and there's been some changes in 6.5 and uh, how agents are managed and created. So I figured it'd be a good time to kind of do an updated video. And so uh, let's get started with that today. First, I wanna talk a little bit about how to create your agents, how to map them back to your groups, um, how to kind of start off getting them deployed. So first of all, I always start by in my computer section, I wanna figure out, you know, where do I want my computers to show up? So in this case, I made a company called ABC Manufacturing. I even made some subgroups and um, this will come into play later when we're actually making our agent, you'll see why I, I always make the groups first. So that might beg the question, well, how do you make the groups? So the way that you make the groups is you'll uh, click on the top level folder where you want the um, subgroup to appear and you'll click the gear icon to the right of the top level folder and click new static group. Now, really this is no different than just like making a folder like in your file system, that's really all you're doing. They just happen to call it making it a static group as opposed to a folder uh, for a variety of reasons. But um, yeah, so that's the process. You're gonna give it a name, you know, um, you know Bob's Automotive. All right, and then you would hit finish and boom, we now have a group for Bob's Automotive. So it's really, I'm not gonna discard that because I don't actually wanna save that, but making your groups ahead of time is really the first step of configuring your agents. Okay, so now to actually make an agent, we wanna go down to the admin section here in the lower left. All right, and the first place that uh, I wanna take you to is the section called installers. This is the most basic way to make an agent. There's actually three or four different ways to make agents. This is the kind of most easiest basic way to do it and we'll start there. So click on installers and then down here at the bottom, you will see a blue button that says create installer and you will see one of the options here is to create an agent live installer, okay? Up at the top here, um, you'll have some information that pertains to the certificate that is used. You shouldn't have to do anything in this section. So go down here to the configuration section. All right, and this is where um, you do your configuration of your agent package. So we'll go ahead and give this a name. We'll call this, you know, the ABC Manufacturing Agent. In the server host name box, what you wanna put in here, and this is a very important field, is you wanna put in the server address of your ESET Remote Administrator console. So for me, that is this address here, and you don't put like the HTTPS or anything like that. You literally just put the address of the console here. So don't put anything that's like after the dot .com or uh, any of the slashes or anything like that. So just the address. And then here is where we feed it the group. Now this is why it's important to make the groups ahead of time, is you're gonna go into a parent group section here. We're gonna click the select option, and there's my ABC manufacturing group that I made earlier and hit okay. And basically what we're doing is we're making a piece of software that says, hey software, report back to this server address. And after you've gotten back to the server address, go to this folder to report your status. And so when we load the agent on the computer, this is how the computer gets connected back to our ESET remote administrator console. We would then click get installers down here and it will eventually give us a couple of different packages. There's an agent for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and so it will literally give us uh, separate agent packages for each. Now, once you've got your agent downloaded, it's gonna come in uh, via a little zip file. You will then extract the zip file, and what you will be left with is a little bat file. So here's the bat file that's gonna be inside that zip file. And so you'll literally just double click on this bat file to run it. Um, if you're running Windows 10 or whatnot, you might get the uh, Windows Smart Screen uh, option here. Click More Info and you'll have the option to run anyway. And then this is what the actual agent installation looks like. It starts off with a little command window. Uh, this will run for a minute or two and then you'll eventually get into a uh, regular kind of setup window. This is basically like expanding 
the, um, the installation files. So here's the standard uh, agent setup program right here. And in 30, 60 seconds or so, this will be uh, finished up and we will have the agent loaded on this computer. So the agent is a very critical piece of making the ESET remote administrator work. It's really the first step that you want to do to get your computers working. Like literally, I tell people, get all your agents installed before you start rolling out software. And so learning how to set up your installers and whatnot is a very critical piece. So while that's installing, let me show you a couple of other things here. So if we go to admin and we go to status overview and we go to the agent section in status overview, you'll see this button here that says deploy agent. And there's a couple different options that you can utilize here uh, for uh, getting your agents rolled out. So one is there's an, there's an option that'll make a group policy uh, INI file that you will put into uh, a group policy. So if you wanted to push your agents out over uh, Active Directory, you can do that. They have a push um, option that can be used. Now this is most, most often used again in an Active Directory environment where you have um, kind of a master set of credentials that you can use on all the computers. So this is just other ways that you can get your agents rolled out to your different computers. So you can see that my agent is loaded, or is loading rather, and in 30 or so seconds it'll be completed. Once it, com it completes, I'll be able to come back here to the computer section, and my computer will show up here. So that's how to make an agent file and install an agent on a computer. Thanks for watching the video and come back soon. We'll have uh, more videos on the ESET Remote Administrator version 6.5.